Welcome back. A Pasco County retiree lost her home and nearly everything in it after falling for a foreclosure rescue pitch and signing over the deed to her house. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office opened an investigation after our I team investigator Jackie Calloway started asking questions. Oh God, someone else's vehicles are parked in Elvira Zakari's driveway. Those are my possessions in their truck. And she told the court strangers now live in her home. So sad. So, so sad. The 75 year old bought the Newport Ritchie property in 2019 and planned to stay forever. I loved it. I mean, it was the only home that I ever bought on my own. Forever came in just four years after Elvira fell behind on her mortgage and HOA dues. The homeowners association threatened to foreclose, but she didn't lose her home to the lender or the HOA. I got a call or text. In this lawsuit, Elvira alleges David Litt fraudulently obtained the deed to her home after claiming he would work with her bank and HOA to save her house from foreclosure. He just was reached out to me like he was my best friend. You know, we, we're, we're going to help you. Elvira says in her suit that Litt told her he worked with the government. She just needed to sign some documents. He said, but can I send somebody to your house and up north? And I said, yeah, I guess so. At the time, the 75 year old was in New York caring for her daughter who had undergone surgery. A notary arrived with papers for her to sign. The lawsuit states Litt told her they were to warranty the condition of her home. And I was in such a hurry because of my daughter be, be just getting home from the hospital. I, you, I, I didn't even read it. Elvira signed a warranty deed transferring ownership of her home to Litt's company. A mistake? that cost her nearly everything. I'm homeless. Then David Litt sold the home and everything in it to a real estate investor who rented out the place. I'm sick to my stomach. I am i don't know what to do. I contacted the Pasco Sheriff's Office and they opened a criminal investigation. Elvira went to court to get what was left of her personal possessions and her car. These are personal papers. Uh, what's in here? Oh salt and pepper shaker. Oh, wow. Elvira found family pictures and personal papers, but none of her clothes. I don't see any shoes. I wish I did have shoes in here. We see people le lose their the title to the property all the time through these through these deed transactions. Real estate attorney Stephen Hatchie represents Elvira in the lawsuit. She didn't understand that she was foregoing her legal interest in the property by signing this document. I emailed David Litt a copy of the lawsuit and caught up with him by phone. Hey, Mr. Litt. Litt refused to answer my questions. Okay, sir. Well, then can you tell me your side of the story? I just got hung up on. He's not answering. Meanwhile, Elvira is stuck living in her friend's guest bedroom while the court case moves forward. And there's no guarantee she will win. How anybody could be that cruel, I don't understand it. I'm my team investigator Jackie Calloway taking action for you.